third-party risk assessments, where do you even start when you have thousands of third parties and vendors? Third-party risk assessments are important, we know this, but it's very challenging when you can have thousands of vendors in many cases. How do you prioritise them? How do you actually ensure that you're meeting the right ones? Well, the first step to this is to ascertaining what are your crown jewels and what access do these vendors have to them. That could be anything from physical access or even access to your systems or even if you're transferring data to them. Once you've categorised that, you will have a list of priorities of vendors that you need to meet. Now in some of these cases, these vendors are going to be very large companies, the Googles, Amazons, Microsofts, etc. Getting appointments to meet them for a third party risk assessment over a two day period is going to be very, very difficult. So what you need to establish there is what is your bare minimum? Is seeing their security certification, their ISO, the PCI, etc., their certificates of those, is seeing those enough? In many cases it will be. You could set up a three year cycle so you look at those every two years and then establish well in advance a three year cycle where you can actually go and eyeball the facilities and talk to the people. Booking in advance will help. For the rest of them you're now looking through what sort of priorities that you need to give them. Do you need to review them in person every single year? If that's the case then make sure that is scheduled in. If not establish some kind of cadence that you can work to. Again, a three year cycle is a good one. They can self certificate for two of those years and in that third year you can carry out a personal assessment. That self certification could be split again in the fact that it's asking one set of questions one year and a different set of questions the next year. In this way you're getting a much broader view and spreading your time over them. There will be ones that you will not be able to get to you will need to ensure that you carry out your own risk assessment on these risk assessments as it were. And you can ensure that your leadership, your management etc are aware that you're not in a position to assess the risks that these providers may present to the organisation. They can then address these as regular risks as whether they should be mitigated, avoided, transferred or accepted. Putting in together some kind of rigorous but simple framework that will allow you to address your third party risks is going to be very important to having a good macro view of the risks that your third parties present to you.